small campers have bathrooms? How much do small campers cost? Can you tow a small camper with a car? What's the cheapest small camper? And what's the best small camper? And that's just some of the most frequently asked questions about small campers that I'm gonna answer for you today. Hi, I'm Randy, and every Thursday I help you make big memories in small campers. Okay, let's get started. What is considered a small camper? Now, this answer depends on your perspective. Some people might consider a small camper to be the size of a shoebox, while others might consider to be a gigantic mansion on wheels. Well, maybe that was an exaggeration, but it really is all relative. Generally speaking, a small camper is a camper that's 20 feet in length or less, and they come in a variety of sizes and shapes. How many people? can sleep in a small camper? <laughs> this answer depends on how cozy you want to get. In reality, the number of people that can sleep in a small camper is really going to depend on the size of the camper and the layout of the camper. But here's what you can expect to find. Most small campers are designed to sleep two to four people comfortably. A lot of small campers have a queen size bed and some even come with bunk beds. So these campers can sleep up to four people. Or I take my little guy Max trailer. It has a dinette that converts into an extra sleeping area so my camper can sleep three comfortably. Do small campers have bathrooms? Oh, the fear of not having access to a bathroom. Well, fear not, my fellow adventurers, because most small campers do come equipped with a bathroom. And so you're not going to have to worry about finding a tree to hide behind when nature calls. But if you're expecting a spa experience, you're probably going to be in for a rude awakening. The toilet and the shower are usually crammed into a small space, and this small space is called a wet bath. And people that do have a small camper that doesn't have a bathroom, they typically rely on campgrounds and and public facilities for their bathroom needs. Now I'm gonna tell you, having a bathroom was a necessity for me. What about you? Is a bathroom a must have for you too? Type either yay or nay in the comments section below. Do small campers have a kitchen? Yes, most of them do. But let's be sure to set realistic expectations and let's call a small camper kitchen what they really are, a kitchenette. To give you an example, the kitchen in My Little Guy Max has a sink, a two burner stove, a microwave, and a fridge, which is much smaller than the one you probably have at home. And in some small campers, the kitchen is actually located outside. Of course, kitchen amenities and layouts are gonna vary from model to model. Do small campers have a furnace and air conditioning? Yes, most of them do. So there's no need for you to rely on natural AC from mother nature or a cozy campfire to be your furnace. But in all seriousness, Business, most small campers come with the basic necessities to keep you comfortable, but you still may enjoy stargazing as you're snuggled up in a blanket next to your campfire, or you might enjoy a cold drink to cool yourself off on a hot summer camping day. I'm just saying. How much do small campers weigh? Oh, this question, it's a goodie because the weight of any camper should be a consideration because weight affects the type of vehicle that you're going to be able to use to tow it, how easy it's going to be to maneuver and fuel consumption. With that said, small campers are designed to be lightweight and they can range from 1,500 all the way up to 5,000 pounds or more. Can I tow a small camper with my car? Depending on the camper's weight and other factors, the answer could be yes. But please, please, please always reference your tow vehicle's manual so that you know for sure that it can safely tow your camper. I don't want you or your loved ones to ever be put in a dangerous situation. If you want to learn more about what your vehicle can safely tow, I did a previous video that explains everything you need to know in easy to understand terms. And I'll leave a link to that video in the video description below. So check that out if you want to learn more after you're done watching 
this video. How much does a small camper cost? This question gets asked a lot. The truth is, the cost of a small camper can vary greatly depending on features such as the size, the age, the features, the location, the brand, the quality, and of course, demand. But to give you an idea, you can expect to pay anywhere from $10,000 to $40,000 or more. Unfortunately, there's not a blue book like there is for cars and trucks, but the NADA does provide RV valuations based on JD Power's nationally recognized vehicles valuation database. And I'll leave a link to this online tool in the video description below. Why are small campers so expensive? Oh, the million dollar question, or should I say the thousand dollar question, but it's a valid question. You want to know why would you spend $30,000 on an 18 foot camper when you could buy a 30 foot camper for the same price? Are they sprinkled with gold dust or something? Nope, there's no gold dust here, but there are a couple of good reasons for this. First, small campers are often built with high quality materials materials built by hand instead of relying on automated processes and they're oftentimes built in smaller quantities and these factors contribute to a higher cost per unit whereas larger travel trailers are often built with cheaper quality materials to help keep the cost down and built with automated processes and they're mass produced and these factors contribute to a lower cost per unit I'd love to add my personal two cents here if you don't mind after owning my little guy max for four years now i really do appreciate the quality and the attention to detail price can definitely be an important consideration when buying a small camper but the experiences and the memories that you're going to create well they're priceless why do people buy small campers well there's a lot of reasons that people buy small campers it takes less gas to tow them because of their weight they're easier to tow and maneuver they provide more camping options because of their size they require Require less upkeep and maintenance they're easier to store and they're pretty cute but I have a sneaking suspicion that the reason that people love small campers so much like I do because a little space can go a long way in providing you with a comfortable and cozy space to sleep and relax in no matter what mother nature throws your way allowing us to explore and make those lifetime funeries what is the cheapest small camper <laughs> that's a great question and I have no idea so let's do a search and let's find out together. I went to Camping World Online because they sell a variety of different campers. And I did a search for campers that were less than 20 feet in length. And I only wanted to see the new campers that were for sale. Then I sorted the list from a lowest price to highest price. And this is the lowest priced one for sale. It's a 2022 Forest River Rockwood Freedom 1640 LTD. So there you have it. Can I use a small camper for full-time living? Yes, of course you can live in a small camper, but of course living in a small camper is gonna have its challenges. Things like a limited space, lack of storage, and cabin fever to name a few. But those up for the challenge, it may be an incredibly rewarding and adventurous way to live. Just be prepared to answer a lot of questions from your friends and family. Like, where's your real house? Or do you ever shower? But at least you'll have some great stories to tell. What's the best small camper? Well, this one's a tough one. It's kind of like asking, what's the best flavor of ice cream? Which, of course, is definitely chubby hubby made by ben and jerry's oh my gosh it's got pretzels covered with fudge and peanut butter oh it's so good okay back to the question the truth is there's not a one size fits all answer for this question the best camper for you is going to depend on your personal needs your preferences and of course your budget my biggest tip for you and trust me it's a biggie i want you to learn from my mistakes before you ever consider buying any size camper you need to spend some time in it this way you'll be able to really experience 
experience what it's like to hang out in the small space. My first camper I bought, I actually bought a camper that was too small and I returned it a couple of weeks later. So this was a costly mistake. If you want to learn more about what is the right size small camper for you, I highly suggest that you watch this video right here next. In this video, I share the tips and the tricks that I wish somebody had told me before I purchased my first small camper. Watching this video could help you avoid making a mistake like I did.